build a multi-million dollar enterprise for the kingdom of God. This is business architecture for kingdom ambassadors. State-of-the-art strategies for kingdom multi-millionaires. In many of my videos, I relate the importance of having the right mindset. That means the habitual or characteristic mental attitude that determines how you will interpret and respond to situations. It's just the habitual way you think about things. Many of us grew up in an atmosphere that had nothing to do with wealth and abundance, so we really don't know what a wealth and abundance mindset really is. But the fact is, there is nothing in the real world to keep us from nourishing a wealth and abundance mindset. In a previous writing, I shared how much progress we have made as the people on Earth. Just think about it. Most people, even in the poorest countries, have indoor toilets and cell phones, which expose them to all of the knowledge available to man. 2,000 years of knowledge. Just thinking about that will convince you that wealth and abundance are available to anyone who pursues them. The key to unlimited wealth and abundance lies in your mindset and belief system. Wealth is not created with money, connections, or a fancy degree. Wealth is created by adopting a wealth mindset and executing on it. A wealth mindset means that you see every challenge as an opportunity, embrace calculated risk-taking, and have the confidence to make bold moves toward your financial goals. Brian Rose Brian shared five tips for developing a wealth mindset and I will summarize them here. First, get around wealthy people as often as you can. Find mentors or go to conventions where wealthy people congregate. Second, adopt a growth mindset. Love learning and realize you will grow as you learn and just know this must be a lifetime habit. Third, take carefully considered risks. You will be required to do this if you want to create wealth. Fourth, always be grateful. Gratitude for your achievements and experiences increases their occurrence. It is also a powerful motivator. Fifth, learn as much as you can about wealth creation. There are vast numbers of books, podcasts, and YouTube videos on wealth. You can become educated about wealth quickly in this age of information. David O advises us to understand the real reason the super rich are where they are. He says it is based on two things first, it is knowing what you are in the position for, then following the path of least resistance and applying the work ethic required. This all relates to knowing who you are and what really fulfills you. You consider your skills, experiences, and desires. Second is simply to determine how you can improve where you are. So basically all we have to do is to know who we are and what fulfills us then find ways to improve where we are. David concludes if you focus on that, once in a generation opportunities fall in your laps. And when you see such an opportunity, you grow super rich fast. Jari Rumor in a post entitled Three Habits the Wealthiest People Practice Daily that Most People Don't Set First they ask $30,000 questions rather than $3 questions. Second, they ask better questions. And third, they invest into themselves. Did you notice we keep getting to the importance of self-growth? When you ask $30,000 questions, you're moving into the wealth realm. The opposite would be a $3. Question such as, should I make my coffee at home or buy it at Starbucks? This question focuses on minor things when you could just go ahead and buy your coffee and move on to the next thing. A $30,000 question could be, can I increase my monthly savings rate to 15%? The difference is the mindset and focus it takes to ask each question. Related to this is the second thing suggested by rumor. They make better choices. They make better choices daily. 
He concludes that our circumstances are the result of our choices. Wealth is a logical outcome when you make the right daily choices. The reality is what we do today impacts week, months, and years from now. Some examples would be the choice to save money opposed to choosing to waste it on impulse shopping. Another could be learning skills to bring in high income versus watching Netflix. I was interested in how to match income with time. So I proposed that I wanted to make $1 million each year. Then I wanted to know what the value of each hour would be in order to make that million. I learned that each hour of the year was worth about $120. So even as I slept, vacationed, relaxed or whatever, I would need to bring in $120. Each hour in residual income to make that million plus I would need to make sure each working hour brought in the $120. Just think about it. Time is money. Finally, rumor says, they invest in themselves. This is one we're going to hear over and over again. The well-known motivator, Tony Robbins has said, investing in yourself is the most important investment you'll ever make in your life. There's no financial investment that'll ever match it. Because if you develop more skill, more ability, more insight, more capacity, that's what's going to really provide economic freedom. As you continue researching literature, videos, podcasts, blog posts, etc. On wealth building, you will find these same themes throughout your research. These strategies have worked for millions of wealthy people and they will work for you. All you have to do is to take action now. Remember Proverbs 10.20 to the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Are you ready to build a winning architecture for your multi-million dollar business? Reign like the king you already are. This is business architecture for kingdom ambassadors. Influence the mountains of power with your kingdom-based enterprise. Gain superior skills and knowledge with www.geniuscoretraining.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget you can gain superior business skills now. Visit www.geniuscoretraining.com.